In this video, I'm going to explain you how to create a legal entity in Oracle Fusion Applications Cloud. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you to Fusion Applications and then we'll navigate to the form wherein we create the legal entity and I'm going to show you the rest of the steps there. So here I am for logging into Vision Applications and I'm going to use my user K Khan with a password of welcome and then hit the sign in button and here I'm going to go to setup and maintenance and then I'm going to navigate to implementation projects right from here you can either go and navigate from implementation projects or you can search a specific task so by typing it over here and hit the search button just for learning purposes I'm going to show you the longer way of navigation so click on your project and then you navigate to financials and make sure you are able to see the entire thing and then define common application configuration for financials navigate to define enterprise structure for financials and then you've got a number of things over here you see you can start by defining a new enterprise structure so this is the form wherein you can not only define your legal entity but also your divisions, business units, your legal authorities, etc. It will also create reference data sets for you, but I have already done that and I am demonstrating you the single step procedure to create your legal entity. So as you could see down over here, you've got another function define legal entities for financials. So click on that, expand that and then you've got manage legal entity right so you click on this one and here I have already defined one legal entity by the name of vision operations USA legal entity and for demonstration purposes I'm gonna create one more so You see the reason why we are getting on to this form is because the scope is already selected right so we need to make sure that we go to a place wherein we can define a new legal entity so the question is how do we go about it and it's fairly easy if you go into the same form manage legal entity instead of clicking on go to task which will automatically select the scope which was previously selected you instead click on that scope itself okay so selected scope click on this hyperlink and there you will have an option in the LOV to create a new legal entity so click on that one and then hit apply and go to task and then you click on this plus icon for creating a new legal entity look this is the form we were looking for create a new legal entity now I'm going to create a legal entity called as vision services USA so if you're new to Oracle fusion and if you don't have data handy for your demo environment one easy way is you can take that data from Oracle eBusiness suite so to assist you further in a data entry I have already opened the eBusiness suite instance as you could see over here so I'm going to go to legal entities definition form so if you are not aware of the navigation let me show you once more so I'm going to go to the navigator and from here I'm going to navigate to the legal entities configurator page so since it's taking a long time I'm going to click on the home icon and from here I'm going to go to the navigator and drill down to general ledger responsibility so as you could see general ledger vision operations USA was the responsibility we were looking for and then you navigate to setup financials accounting setup manager and then accounting setups 
so that will lead you to accounting setup manager within that you go on to the task called as legal entities and then you make your search so I'm gonna go to advanced search and I'm gonna search by say vision percentage which will look up all the legal entities start by vision so hit the go button and then you drill down to the legal entity that you wish to take the data from here to fusion application so I'm gonna create a new one for vision services okay so click on that one option and then click on view details it's gonna open a detail form which will help us copy certain data from here to fusion okay in the meanwhile as you could see we've got the name itself so by the time it loads I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna start typing say vision services USA and then you've got legal entity identifier and you can copy it from here like this okay and then you can say start date so whatever the start date you wish to give let's say if you've got a start date so let's say this date okay first Jan 1987 so I'm gonna first select first Jan and then here you can edit as 87 and in fact this is 1987 like this okay and optionally you can choose these options and then identifying jurisdiction by default it is United States income tax and then you can enter your employer identification number or tax identification number which again I'm gonna copy it from here so if you see something like registration within that hopefully you will have that sort of number over here so you see EIN or TIN so I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here and then you've got legal address and it's entirely up to you whether you wish to choose an existing legal address or you can create one on the fly so I'm gonna create it on the fly so looks like you see it is not giving us a form to create it on the fly it is just letting us choose so what we can do alternatively is we have to go back and come to this page okay so we can always do that by keeping this open opening a new browser okay going to the legal addresses form and creating a new one navigation is pretty much same okay that's where we were right so if you scroll up a little bit somewhere you'll find a place to create a new legal address you've got manage locations okay so that's where you are under define legal jurisdictions and authorities for financials you've got the manage legal addresses form so you click on that one and here you can define your new legal address so I would say United States and I'm gonna enter the address line one over here so what's our address you see that's our address okay so if you click on this one or alternatively you can copy this one say 1401 Pennsylvania F and you can paste it over here okay then what you have is Washington DC so Washington is the city
and you've got DC and you see that's the postal code copy that and then you paste it over here and that's about it in fact in fact that's a place to search right so we were we've got to create a new one so by for that you need to click on this create button okay we we were looking at the wrong form so I'm gonna hit the create button to create a new legal address and here you see again we've got to give these details Washington and then give the postal code DC uh, okay and then you optionally give the time zone if you like but you can ignore it um, let's see if you can give one for the US hopefully it should have one you see so I'm gonna give Central Pacific time or US Pacific time and hit the OK button and then once you're done you have to click on save and close okay by that new location has been created okay so if you go back to that and query hopefully you should find that new location so let's search it by the country say United States and then hit the search button it's gonna retrieve all those addresses so you see the address that we have just created can be viewed here so now I'm gonna go back to uh, legal entities form and here I'm gonna search my legal address and hopefully that one should show up you see it has just shown up and I'm gonna choose that one okay and then you've got legal reporting unit registration number and I think it should be same as your EIN or TIN uh, it's up to you what you wish to give but I can't see anything else over here so so these are different establishment within the legal entity so I'm gonna give the same thing okay you can always change it later if you like okay and then you hit save and close so that's in short the procedure to create a new legal entity now if you go back let's say if you go back and search your legal entity you would be able to find it so let's say search legal entities and then you choose legal entity you see now you can see the new legal entity that we just created has been listed over here so that's in summary the procedure to create a new legal entity